Second back, Walter Payton. First down, Bears as he's to the 42-yard line. His career. First and 10, Bears. Running hard and running well is fullback Matt Suey of Penn State. He thunders up for a gain of eight. And second and two. Second and two, a quick throw and a completion for a first down. And McKinnon is inside the 35-yard line. Dennis McKinnon spreading out the left flank and a perfect lead. Recognition now is one of the outstanding coaches in the league. And here is McMahon on a rollout second and eight. They don't want him to run. McKinnon's up and touchdown Chicago. Bears make it happen fast. A 32-yard play. McKinnon scored the touchdown. He's now got on the day two catches for 48 yards from the end zone behind the defense. You see Suey out there leading, trying to protect McMahon against the pass rush. This is well thrown. Marion on the coverage. Good catch by McKinnon. Five plays, 69 yards, just three minutes and three seconds. As he wasn't last week, Eason on first down, stands in and throws a strike out to the 47. At the big league arm does Tony Eason. That was good for 17 yards as he gunned the ball out on the flank and coming down with it was Derwin Williams. The Jones at birth considerably more now. Big William never lifted a weight or watched his own. Here is Tony Eason dropping to throw in the flat. He skips it. Whoa. So buddy Ryan called him a wasted draft choice, but watch the sheer power of William Perry at somewhere around 330 pounds. My goodness gracious. He Weight makes, unknown. Yeah, he makes everybody out there look small, doesn't he? From the shotgun on third and eight. And Eason does very well just to go down before he gets hit with a head-on shot from Singletary. The middle linebacker from Baylor coming untouched up the middle. Out second down at about four for Chicago. Suey, good execution by the Bears, and Matt Suey runs ahead to the 44-yard line. A gain on the play of 12 yards. Right now, McMahon directs with a third and four coming up from midfield. Bears lead 7-0, first quarter. Peyton in trouble and is knocked down for a loss. So Chicago will have to punt the ball to the Patriots with eight minutes to play and the clock running in the first quarter. The Patriots on the shotgun offense, third and 14. Singletary. <laughs> the Singletary. He missed the interception, as you saw. Then he figured that maybe James got it, so he was going to pop him good. Well, James did a good job, Don, and, and maybe. Calvin Thomas in motion on second and ten. Here's McMahon. Nice strike. Down to his tight end, Emery Moorhead, and he is across the midfield line for a 20-yard gain, and the Chicago Bears cross into New England area. It's the first time they've gone to a tight end in the game, and now McMahon lost one out in the far flank. A nice play by Marjoram. Those are the sure hands. He caught a ton of balls from John Elway when they're both at Stanford. First down and 10. Hand off to Peyton. Fumble. Free ball. Let's see who's got it. Looks like the Patriots. They do. New England gets the ball at the 37-yard line of the Patriots. So the Bears' drive is stopped, and again, the Patriots take over with good field position, but they've not been close to a score. Second and nine now for New England. Eason gets time. He's oh. intercepted. Vincent. With his 32nd career interception. Now the Bears go to the run, and Walter Payton on a flea flicker throws to McMahon. Lost it up. The Patriots might get this one back. They, they do. Did. Those are the trick plays that you're talking about. That'll be a touchback. The bigger than Bobby Lane. Let's see what he does on third down and three. Gets a man. Let's see where they spot it. They're going to give him a first down. Marjoram went where he had to go. The Patriots threw him back nine yards. Whoa. Collar bowl. Yeah, you got it. Right now, though, we have Jim McMahon firing for the Bears, and he is out to the midfield strike. A gain of about 10 yards. Well, 28 to play. First half, the Bears continue to lead 7 0. Matsui looks for some room and finds some. And on first down, he's ahead for about eight. Half, Bears moving the ball and leading in the game 7 0. McMahon with a hard throw and a great catch by McKinnon. Well, that's really a big league play by Dennis McKinnon. He took the punishment and held on. Third down and about a yard. McMahon puts it up. 
Shouldn't have been thrown. Oh! Blocked. The ball was tipped. And yet they came down with it. Coming up with the ball was a backup tight end, Tim Reitman. A 25-yard gain. Be going that way with Peyton. Here comes Peyton. He's going to throw if he can. Incomplete. Third All-America place kicker at Georgia. Nails it. 37 seconds to play in the first half, and the Bears extend their lead to 10 to nothing. It's unable to move with consistency. Go to the run. James goes over and doesn't get much as he's run down very quickly. Coming over to make the stop at him was William Perry, who at 320 pounds can run. 320 pounds. That's got to be a misprint. There is a flag on the play. Face mask against Chicago. And Eason dropping. He's got a problem and runs away from it. Throws on the run. He's got a man. Williams is open. He's out to the 49-yard line. Down. That's Ken Cheat up. Eason sacked for a second time. That was single carry coming on the blitz. And a lot of errors to defend against them. Here's Eason on the last play of the first half. Let's her fly. Looks like volleyball and the Bears get it. Intercepted. Richard Dent has the ball. They say Dent's fast enough to play linebacker, and they had him downfield and covered that play. Well, that'll conclude the first half of play as Dipkin and the Bears head to the locker room. We'll be going to NFL 85 for an update on what's transpiring around the National Football League in a moment. The Chicago Bears scoring first in a 32-yard touchdown pass play. Dennis McKinnon from McMahon on their first possession. Looked like they might be on the way to a route, but then the Patriots held. NFL 85 halftime activities will continue in a moment. We'll be right back after these messages from your local station. I'm going to stay away from play calling for a while. First and 10. Weathers, Scott, Wilbur Marshall. They say this Marshall can run like a cornerback. He was at Pittsburgh. He was even better on defense. Blitz. Eason gets it away as the blitz comes. Dave Dorison, the strong safety, had a clear shot at Eason, who got the ball away to save a long sack. Third and 13, it's got to be a long ball. Eason lets it rip too high, and Cedric Jones went up for it, had his hands on it, and good thing that he did, because streaking down the near sideline was Mike Richardson ready to take it and go in. Throw down the field, and the ball is caught by Reitman. Open field, the tight end. Inside the 25 and down to the 19-yard line. He's a player. He says he can do everything but run well, but he's been fast in this game. And now Peyton breaks it down inside the 15-yard line. Third and two. Suey tried the middle, and if he got there, it was just by the football. Coming this way. Man gets it. Patriots all hitting on him, but did they get him down in time? Peyton even took some snaps yeah. late in the season. I'd hand it to anybody standing behind McMahon. No, they didn't make it. Went to a draw. Got yardage. Do it again. Nothing there, though, as the ball carrier Tony Collins was chopped by his own man had been taken down. Taylor and Taylor back at his 35 has room to return. He's out to the 48 yard line. Taylor returns the punt. 52 yard punt and a 13 yard return by 8 yard line of Chicago. Long ball. Golf is out there. Willie Golf inside the 10 yard line. Go deep to their burner. Willie Golf. First and goal. Peyton. Down to the two-yard line. They've just taken the heart out of this New England defense. Just been on the field so long that I think they realize now that the offense is going to have a very difficult time scoring if they score at all. It's backers down in three points as they fill in the gaps. Dig it in. Shoei. No signal. Yeah. 
And still no signal. The ball is down to the goal line, but apparently it's not over. Now they're going to unpile the referee Tom Dooley stepping in. He didn't get there, though. Hey, call a touchdown. Now they call it a touchdown. 30 seconds after the play ended. Tell you, we're going to keep him healthy. Eason lets it rip and gets his man. Derek Ramsey, the tight end, breaks into open field. And he's across the 35 and out to the 40. A big gainer for the Patriots. 19 yards and now to Bob Custis. Patriots looking to move the ball. They've been across midfield once in the game, and that was for a moment. Intercepted. Singletary. Eason has a play on him, and Singletary takes it down to the 16-yard line. Eason's third interception. Bears challenging again, leading 17-0 late in the third quarter. McMahon wants it quick, goes out, tight end gets it, Emory Moorhead, he's inside the 15-yard line. 17 to Tampa Bay at halftime last week, and then rallied to win 38-28 to here at Soldier Field. Now on third down and short, the Patriots are there to stop the run, and again, it's fourth down and short yardage their for defense is the playing, Their defense has played exceptional football today. Good foot, be a 28-yard field goal. Steve Fuller holds. Butler is on the money again with 1.22 to play in the third quarter. The Bears now go out in front 20 to nothing over New England. Coach Barry has to go to game plan B, and that's fire away. Throwing blitz. Nothing. The Bears dominating on defense. But third down and four now for New England. Eason. Misconnection, and that'll happen because Dorison, a strong safety again, came out of blitz and nailed Tony Eason. New running back in the game now, moving the ball for Chicago is Thomas Sanders, and he breaks it free all the way out to the 45 yard line. That's what Barry was saying last night. You're going to get it handed to you a lot of days in this league, is what you do when you have, have to come back. That was a design rollout. Julius Adams tended on a Butler field goal to 20 to nothing. That's how it stands now. McMahon hit full force, and Jim McMahon is down, and he's going to be up. Kent, untouched. Third sack of the day. Totally untouched. Ran a game up front. Hampton had a hold of the offensive guard and tackle. Kent with great uh, foot speed. Comes from the outside. Numbers. Untouched. Otis Wilson. Now Easton has become a tackling dummy as the New England pass offense is inept at blocking the blitzing Chicago Bears. Camarillo against an all-out rush. Manis takes it back to his 40. And the Patriots special teamers make the knockdown at the 42-yard line. 50-yard punt, just a two-yard return. Bears go to the run, and uh, Kerry is out close to the 45-yard line. Two guys start up. There's going to be a foul call on Lippitt and Marjoram. They were knocking on each other. And quarterback and the Bears in the lead, 20 to nothing. Calvin Thomas. Two hundred forty pounds and the big guy can run Looking at a definite contender for the Super Bowl in New Orleans, which you'll see on NBC Sports in January. The Bears seem to have the pieces together. Here's a stick, though, on a blitz by Don Blackman. And Fuller, who was shaken up often last year, has helped from the turf, but he'll stay in the game. Exactly how his team responds to losing after this performance. Eason still in the game, still pitching. Lost one downfield as a man open. This could go the distance. James is on the run. This is going to be a touchdown for the Patriots. 90 yards, and the Patriots are in the end zone. James beat the linebacker, and Tony Eason standing in against an all-out rush throws a perfect ball. So the Patriots finally explode and get on the board a 90-yard pass play. Took 12 seconds for Easton to take his drop and unload and for Craig James to get into the end zone. Look at the big band-aid Craig James has on his chin. I wonder if he got that today. Well, that, that, play. That's got to make uh, New England feel a little better. This is a tough throw by Easton Perfect because throw. the receiver is going straight away from him and a very difficult catch made 
by Craig James. That's right on the money. Made that move away from Wilbur Marshall. And in he goes. Williams finally knocks Singletary off the play. The completion of a 90 yard touchdown pass play from Tony Eason to Greg James, the longest in Patriot history. Can you go for an onside kick here if you're the New England Patriots? Steve Fuller taking a drop. Running in very well. He gets out to the 27 yard line. End off up the middle. Not much, but something, and most importantly, from a Chicago standpoint, the Bears are making the clock kick. 7-13 running, the Bears in the lead, 20-7, but the Patriots are going to get it back now. Tony Eason, whose last touchdown throw, his last throw is good for a 90-yard touchdown pass play, throws another big strike, a 17-yard gain out to the 49-yard line. Looks Second like down and 10 for Eason, blitz it is. Tony Eason goes down hard, sacked for a fifth time. Four-man rush. Eason stands in. Throwing on the run, Tony Eason is knocked down hard. Steve McMichael got him as he released the ball. Seven. Here's Eason from the shotgun on first down. Blitz. Marshall untouched. Clock running mercifully for the New England Patriots. Last player of the game. Bears 2 0. Patriots 1 1. That'll do it from Chicago, where the Bears look mighty in extending their record to 2 0 on the season. The Patriots go back to New England. 1 1 on the year. And head puts by the Chicago Bear offense and defense. The offense was not spectacular, it was functional with about three or four big plays all day long. It was uh, totally the Chicago Bear defense, just stifling, absolutely stifling the New England Patriots.